So now the Toy Fair dust has settled, let's talk about all those Marvel Legend reveals. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at It's Dan Who. And as I said in the intro, Toy Fair 2020 has been and gone. Well, it's technically still going ahead, but in regards to Marvel Legends, they have revealed a lot these last three days. And rather than me rushing a video out over the weekend, I thought I'd wait now until the dust has settled so I can recap properly and try not to miss anything. So this is my Marvel Legends Toy Fair recap of all the things they revealed. So I'm just going to go down my list that I've ripped on my uh, clipboard and uh, sort of give you my thoughts as we go along. So there was quite a lot, to be fair. Some things I'm pretty intrigued about and other things I'm not massively excited about, as always. But uh, still, let's go through. I'll give you my thoughts and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So in no particular order, this is just the list I've got in front of me. Let's start off with the X-Men Age of Apocalypse wave. Now, it's no secret, I've said this a few times on the channel, I'm not a massive fan of these particular character designs. But don't get me wrong, the figures look great and I'm sure anyone who's a fan of Age of Apocalypse is going to really want these figures. And now they've told us what the Builder figure is, it's going to be even more desirable, even for me. Even I'm tempted now to jump in to see what they're like. But let's get into it. So, officially, the Age of Apocalypse X-Men wave for 2020 is Weapon X, Sunfire, Jean Grey, even though I'm surprised how she fits in her box because that Builder figure piece takes up so much, uh, X-Man, a.k.a. Nate Grey, Morph, and Hasbro Mr. Mark, they could have gave us an interchangeable uh, animated series morph head in this packaging to make the figure a little bit more desirable, but they missed out on that. We're getting Dark Beast, who I have to admit looks very good. Wild Child, and because Wild Child was single packed and he had the chain, a lot of people speculated that the Builder figure would be Sabretooth. However, we were all wrong as the Builder figure is this monstrosity, Sugar Man. And yes, he looks crazy. And in the comics, he did come over to the 616, apparently. So he is a figure that I could get for my shelves, regardless of this storyline. And uh, I know a lot of people want to save a tooth to go with Wild Child, but Sugar Man, we haven't had him in a long time. And again, he looks impressive. Um, so yeah, even the, the Builder figures made me very tempted to pick up this wave. Uh, but we never got Apocalypse, even though it is the age of Apocalypse, but Hasbro didn't miss the mark as they have revealed a deluxe Apocalypse. So it's basically a reissue of the Builder figure Apocalypse we got a few years ago, but with some color changes, he's holding a skull, and they've told us that that is gonna be a deluxe single packed figure. So if you want your age of Apocalypse Apocalypse, you'll still be able to get him even though he's not the Builder figure. So there is your Age of Apocalypse figures. Let me know in the comments below, are you a fan of the Age of Apocalypse storyline? Are you gonna be picking up this wave? I'm still undecided. Moving on to the next wave, it is the Gamerverse wave. Now again, I'm not a massive fan of the Gamerverse designs, but maybe once I've played the game, I'll be more intrigued by these figures. But that's what we're getting. So we're getting a Captain America, a Camilla Khan Miss Marvel, and of course, Iron Man. So those are the three figures in this wave that are based on their uh, game designs from the game that's coming out in September, the Avengers game. But we are getting comic book figures in this wave, which makes me very, very tempted to get this wave again. So we're getting Rage, Mark One, which looks like a reissue of the Ultimate Beetle with a color changes, but Mark One was in from the bolt, so is a desirable figure nevertheless. Leader, which is a happy update. We always need more Hulk villains for the shelf. Marvel, which we haven't had since the Toy Biz days, I believe, um, which is aka Captain Marvel. Go and read a comic. And then the Builder figure is going to be the Gamerverse Abomination. Now, to be fair, this design for Abomination looks really good. So regardless of it being a Gamerverse design, you could definitely put this Abomination into your Marvel Legends display. So again, even though I didn't think I wanted these Gamerverse de designs, the Spider-Man figures have definitely found their way into my collection. So maybe I just need to buy this wave, get them in hand, and once I've played the game, I'll be very happy I did. So that is the Gamerverse, but they did not stop there. That is just the Gamerverse wave. We are getting a couple of single-packed Gamerverse figures, and they revealed this like last week. It was up for pre-order. It is the Outback Hulk. So it's like a gray Hulk with some sort of designs, some tribal designs on, beard. Don't get me wrong, it's funky design for Hulk, but again, not one for me that I'm very 
tempted to get. Maybe I will, I'm not too sure. Maybe, I don't know what type of role he plays in the game. I have no idea, but Outback Hulk is single pack deluxe figure. And they're also giving us a Star Boost Iron Man, which is essentially a, a space suit Iron Man, which is a game averse figure. But let's be honest, we could probably fudge that into our MCU collection as there was a Star Boost armor in the MCU. Even though it never got a lot of screen time, it's definitely there, it's canon. So maybe we could take this figure and sneak it into our MCU Hall of Armors. But either way, we're getting a Star Boost Iron Man, which is being classed as game of a single pact and talking about the Hulk we are also getting a red Hulk which I believe in America is going to be a target exclusive now in the UK there are no targets so I luckily I'm going to be getting my hands on that red Hulk probably tomorrow so we come back to the channel tomorrow if you're watching this today that makes no sense but you know what I mean I will be getting the red Hulk thanks to in-demand toys so hopefully that arrives tomorrow and I can get a review on you but if you're in the US it's going to be a target exclusive and that looks very good we haven't had a decent red Hulk for a while Thunderbolt Ross all of that good stuff Red Hulk. Uh, Iron Man, another Iron Man. We're getting the 2020 Iron Man. This has got those funky sort of cog designs on the shoulders and they're telling us they're reusing the um, Iron Man body that come out last year, uh, the classic looking Iron Man, um, which looks very nice, don't get me wrong, um, but I'm more excited about the War Machine. Uh, it even comes with an interchangeable, unmasked roadie head with the with the flat top, and he's got all these different accessories and rocket effects and stuff like that, which I really like that Hasbro are trying with new stuff. So we're getting a War Machine, which is gonna be a single deluxe figure, I believe, so they can fit in all those extra accessories. Uh, another single release figure that, we, again, Again, this is no surprise or nothing new, but we are getting a single packed Hydra Soldier just in a little cardboard box so they can help us army build. Now, it's apparently on Hasbro Pulse right now for about $15. Again, I'm in the UK, we don't have Hasbro Pulse, so hopefully some of the UK stores can get that Hydra Soldier, so we, us in the UK can build out our Hydra army as well. Um, but yeah, it's a nice touch for Hasbro, it shows they're uh, watching the online content, reading the fan communities and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we're getting a single packed Hydra Soldier. Now something I'm definitely excited about and probably is my favorite Marvel Legends reveal of the whole weekend is the retro Spider-Man wave. Now if you've watched any of my top 10 most wanted Marvel Legends videos recently, then you know these two are things I wanted. Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy and they hit the nail on the head and gave us both. And they look very good. They have the very nostalgic animated Spider-Man series packaging. And we're getting Peter Parker. He's got his camera accessory, which I wanted. And he has those crazy glasses. Now, hopefully those glasses come off or we can pop on a plain Peter Parker head because they look a bit crazy. But still, we're getting a plain clothes Peter Parker and then a Gwen Stacy. And the, what's really good is that they're actually packed in uh, an interchangeable Mary Jane Watson head into the Gwen Stacy pack. So you could have either or if you want to, which is a very nice touch from Hasbro. I'm liking it a lot. So I'm very happy about this retro Spider-Man line. Very happy. And they're even giving us an upgraded, super articulated Spider-Man, which is apparently gonna be beating the pizza Spider-Man, which is probably the most sought after Marvel legend Spider-Man there is. So maybe that will go down in value in the aftermarket now uh, because this new super articulated one is apparently even better than the pizza Spider-Man, but we shall find out very soon. Now they only revealed those three figures from the retro wave, but thanks to Rectangular, and they even gave Rectangular a little, a little nod in their presentation so they know they're watching, uh, but we think we're gonna get Daredevil, Electro, and I can't remember the last one, but one more. Um, so there's more to come from that line is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so I'm very excited about that Spider-Man retro line. I reckon San Diego Comic-Con time is when we will get that wave and see it all. Uh, but yeah, very happy about that. Things on my tick uh, want list ticked off. Um, moving on, we got some Venomized figures. We got Venomized Captain America, which is gonna be a single packed Walgreens exclusive. Looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Some of these Venomized ca uh, character designs are really nice and the Captain America looks good, uh, but that's gonna be single packed. And then we also got a Venomized Miles Morales and a Venomized Ghost Spider, AKA Gwen Stacy, um, Spider Gwen, uh, both Venomized. And they didn't say where these two are gonna be yet. They said to be determined, but we basically are assuming there's gonna be a Venom wave later this year the fall along with the Venom film and I doubt we're gonna get Venom figures maybe we will who knows but uh, definitely a Venom wave coming uh, as they did re-release that deluxe Venom that even better than the builder figure Venom but yeah 
Venom figures are coming essentially, uh, Venomized characters, but that's all we got told from that. Moving on, uh, we, what we do know about is the Deadpool wave, which is the strong guy builder figure wave. Now that's no secret, we knew this already. So again, a recap, we're getting the yellow and blue Deadpool, Warpath, Sunspot, and the ones that they revealed at Toy Fair were Black Tom Cassidy, Looks great, not gonna lie, holding his little stick with the skull on. And then also Maverick with all his gear and gold and whatnot, he looks really good as well. Uh, and again, the strong guy is the builder figure. So there's only five figures there, so we need maybe one more. So maybe there's still another figure or two to be revealed from that strong guy builder figure, the Deadpool wave. We don't know yet, we shall find out. Some X-Men characters they did reveal. And again, they've, no, they've not told us where these figures are coming or how they're coming, but they're coming. And it is Rogue in a modern green outfit. And what's unique about these next couple of reveals is that they've got no pins in it. So all your action figures have pins on where the articulation is. Apparently they do try and out some new technology where the pins are hidden under the plastic type vibe. Like a lot more slick looking action figures. Um, which is very appealing, very interesting. But also means a potential load of new releases and replaces and our figures and that, that already got on the shelves. Whole new story, but still they look great. And it is classic Rogue, as I said, mod uh, modern and Rogue, sorry, classic Storm, uh, which a lot of people have been wanting to fill out certain teams. We know a black uh, outfit with a gold trim. And um, again, classic Storm has no pins. We're also getting an old man Hawkeye. So if you're a fan of old men, you're going to be like these next two reveals. Old man, old man of Hawkeye looked really good holding his crossbow again with the no pins. Really nice looking action figure. Again, we don't know where it's going to land though. We don't know if it's single packed in a wave. We don't know. Another figure they've revealed is old man Logan. And everyone is on the baby Yoda height recently due to the Mandalorian. So Hasbro thought, let's get a piece of that pie and jump in with the original green baby, which is Baby Hawk from the Old Man Logan storyline. So we're getting a nice new Old Man Logan holding a baby green Hawk, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not too sure if this one has the no pin technology, but either way, it looks like a great figure. Don't know if it's in a wave. Don't know if it's single packed. They didn't tell us. Same thing with, with Nimrod. We're getting a deluxe Nimrod figure. I think a few people in their interviews tried to ask if it was a builder figure and they never said yes, but they never really said no. They're not too sure yet. So we could have a Nimrod builder figure or it could be a deluxe figure. Either way, it's got two heads for its classic look and it's more modern look, which is looking nice. We're getting a, a Punisher bike. Yes, everyone wanted the Punisher van, including me, but it's not to be. We're going to get this Punisher bike, but it does look good. Um, it's based on a particular artist design. Uh, it's got a beat up head, normal head. It's got like this Viking biker helmet with a baseball bat and a couple of weapons. It looks good. It looks like a nice old school Punisher uh, on his bike, beating up some street thugs. Very happy. Hopefully we get a, a van in the future, but for now this bike will do. But again, they only revealed that. So we usually get two Rider Wave figures a year. Uh, so this is the only one. So we'll probably expect another Rider Wave figure to be revealed down the line. Now that fan vote, they also revealed a couple of silhouettes and a lot of people guess correctly that it is of course Silk, Sif and Electra, all in slightly different outfits that we've already had. Now what they've said unique about this fan vote is that usually the other figures in the fan vote will eventually get made or it takes years before the figure that we choose to want gets made. They're saying whatever wins this fan vote will be available this summer and then the other two figures will never get made. So that's believable considering these three figures are just repaints. So they've already got the molds. It's easy to get them done. They just need to pick what design they want. Uh, so I'm in the UK. I can't vote. Uh, a lot of people seem to think Silk is going to win. Uh, I already have a Lady Sif because I've got that A-Force box set, so I'm quite happy with that. I'd quite like Electra in the white, I'm not going to lie, but I know Silk is the more desirable figure at the minute. Goes for a pretty penny on the aftermarket, so my guess is Silk will win that. But yeah, Silk, Sif, uh, Lady Sif and Electra, they're the three in the fan vote. If you're in the US, go and vote right now and have Hasbro Pulse. I think you've got a couple of weeks to vote. Um, you can vote every 24 hours, so we shall see where that goes, but Silk seems to be the favourite so far. Now, this is the big reveal. So you know me, I'm an MCU collector, big fan of the MCU. That's what got me back into Marvel and all this good stuff. So not really many MCU figure announcements, even though they have said there is going to be products for um, the Winter Soldier and Falcon, uh, WandaVision, Loki, uh, all of those uh, Disney Plus TV shows are going to have toys and products to go with the release. So fingers crossed for at least a couple of Falcon and Winter Soldier figures, maybe an MCU um, 
Baron Zemo, uh, that would be good, or an MCU US agent, that would be really good. So fingers crossed there to come, maybe in San Diego Comic-Con time. Uh, but for now, this is quite interesting, Marvel Fox figures. Now, when Disney acquired Fox, the Fox Studios, making action figures from films from 20 years ago was not on my mind. It was always, that would be fun. I know a lot of people customize their own Hugh Jackmans and stuff like that, but this was not something that I thought would even happen. So I didn't think it needed to, but now they're here. We are actually getting X-Men Marvel Legends based on the Fox movies, which is crazy. And now I'm gonna to have to find a place on my shelf for them because these are the films that changed the superhero genre, in my opinion, in back in 2000, um, crazy. So let's go through it. We're getting two different Hugh Jackmans. One of them is the white uh, vest, wife beater, two interchangeable heads, bone claws. That is gonna be an Amazon exclusive. We're also getting another Hugh Jackman Wolverine in his jacket. Again, two interchangeable heads, looking very nice. Don't know where it's gonna be. And they also showed off an original Mystique, not a Jennifer Lawrence Mystique, the original Mystique. I forget the actress's name, but she is in the original X-Men films. Again, figure is looking nice. And let's be honest, when she's all blue, she's naked. So they're releasing a naked action figure. Uh, but yeah, two Logans and a Mystique. And the Hugh Jackman uh, likeness on the figures looks great, by the way. It looks really, really good. Two other figures they're giving us are Professor X and Magneto. Now, we all know the Fox uh, X-Men films uh, storylines and timelines was all convoluted and messed up. So Hasbro are aware of that, and they're giving us both options. So we're getting the Michael uh, Fassbender and James McElvoy version of Magneto and Professor X. And then they're giving us interchangeable heads for the classic Patrick Stewart and Ian McKinnon heads as well, which is crazy. So I think for me, I'm probably going to pose the classic looking heads. Uh, Patrick Stewart as Professor X is iconic to me. Um, uh, Sir Ian McKinnon as well as uh, Magneto. Uh, just, they're just, they started it, didn't they? So you've got to have them on the shelf. But it's nice that they've given us the options. I like Michael Fassbender, James McAvoy as well. Lightness looks great. Apparently you're going to get accessories so you can mix and match the helmets and stuff like that. We're getting a nice little wheelchair and you can even pop off that head if you wanted to and just use it as a comic book. Uh, Professor X, whatever you want to do. But yeah, that's going to be a two pack. Uh, and they also revealed, which again, did not expect this, uh, maybe the Fox Legends were rumoured, but these weren't rumoured. It is Deadpool, Megasonic Teenage Warhead, Cable, and Domino. We're getting Deadpool figures Marvel Legend form. Crazy. Uh, this was an R-rated movie, so you didn't think in the US uh, they're going to be making product toys for an R-rated film, but... MCU Collector made a good point on Instagram. They did release that PG-13 version uh, or the whatever rating you call it in US where they re-released the Deadpool 2 for Christmas with the PG rating. So now, technically, these characters are from a PG film. So Hasbro can start making figures. Pretty clever. So we're getting a Deadpool and Megasonic Teenage Warhead 2-pack, which again, the likeness looks great. Let's hope we get lots of accessories with Deadpool and an interchangeable uh, head for Deadpool with Ryan Reynolds, whether it's when he's got cancer and he's all messed up or normal, whatever. That would be pretty good. They're saying Cable is going to be an exclusive to somewhere. I can't remember where, maybe Walmart. But yeah, we're getting Cable single packs and Domino single packs as well. Maybe a Wave in part of a Wave or just single releases. We don't know yet. More will be revealed at San Diego, I'm being told. These are all for the winter and fall releases. So these won't start hitting shelves until September, maybe late August if we're lucky. Uh, but yeah, that is a lot of reveals, people. Um, very curious to hear your thoughts. As I said, I'm very curious to see these X-Men Marvel Legends uh, based on the Fox properties and the Deadpool films. And Deadpool is apparently getting a third film. So these are still relevant characters uh, but where are they going to land? Are they, in the, are they in the MCU? We don't know anything yet. Are they MCU figures? We don't know. We have no idea. Uh, but still, curious to hear your thoughts as always. My favourite Marvel Legends reveals from this weekend, I think, are the retro wave Spider-Man figures because they're super nostalgic for me. I remember having these figures as a kid. I wanted a Peter Parker. I wanted a Gwen Stacy for the front of my shelf amongst my Spider-Man and my rogues gallery of villains. So I'm very happy with them. They're probably my favorite Marvel Legends reveal personally, but I'm always curious to hear yours. Let me know in the comments below. So I'm gonna wrap it up right there. As I said, a lot of Marvel Legends revealed this weekend at Toy Fair 2020. Uh, still tons of reveals and they did tease that HasLab is coming and we think it's gonna be a Sentinel. They played the video and they didn't say nothing else. They, the video was just a tease of a Sentinel. 
but they never said any details. They just walked off stage. So we think before San Diego Comic-Con, we're gonna hear all about the HasLab Sentinel. Now, if it's a 112 Sentinel, it's gonna be as tall as us, right? It's gonna be up here, it's gonna be about four foot, and it's gonna cost about 500 quid. You need more than one Sentinel. Is it a multi-pack of Sentinels? I have no idea what they're doing. What do you think's happening? Let me know in the comments below. But we're definitely getting a HasLab Marvel collaboration, which is what we've been wanting. Uh, a lot of people wanted a Quinjet or a, a Bluebird, Blackbird, Blackbird, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, it's a Sentinel, it seems, but we don't know. Very curious, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there. For more Marvel Legends content and news, you know what to do, hit that subscribe button. Much appreciated, support the channel completely free, it means a lot. Or if you wanna support the channel, and and contribute and see even more content want to hear me talking about marvel legends even more then head over to patreon either way it's all appreciated i do this for fun it's all for the love um but i do want to get out of this attic eventually people so uh will be fun uh, as always people my name is dan w follow me on instagram it's dan who let me know your favorite reveals in the comments below and i shall see you on the next one